Welcome to the McLaren P1. This is my favorite hypercar. I think this is a car that people are going to be talking about for many, many years to come, not just because of the way it looks, but also because of the way it performs. Now, it has a carbon fiber monocoque chassis, meaning that the chassis is one piece carbon fiber, making it very rigid. It has two different power supplies combined, making 900 horsepower. Now, it has a 3.8 liter twin turbo V8 that makes 727 horsepower, but then it also has an electric motor that makes 177 horsepower, and there's your 900. Now, the way that this car uses that electric motor is so interesting. They're calling it torque fill. So that electric motor basically fills in the gaps of torque when those turbos are spooling up. So those twin turbos, they're trying to spool up. There's going to be some lag there. That's where the electric motor kicks in and really supplies the car with so much torque. There's just power everywhere, no matter where you are in the power band. In fact, I think it says there's the, the power band, the effective torque range is 7,000 RPM, which is just unheard of. This is one of those very, very special cars. And in my opinion, it is better than the 918 and the LaFerrari, which all came out at the same time. This thing looks mean. We are going to be taking it in the Los Angeles Canyons for a very, very quick drive. And then we're going to hop over to Yas Marina to really throw this thing around and slide it. You can have so much fun almost drifting this thing, but just power oversteer everywhere. Um, and that's really harping to a video Chris Harris made on this car. I will put the link to that video in the description because it is just one of the most special supercar, hypercar videos out there. He just throws this thing sideways at Yas Marina at night. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy this combo and a uh, very special car. Here we are in the P1. Always a cool look. Being able to see through the roof. Those glass panels definitely changing the vibe of the interior of this car. Pretty wild that this is a street car, but it should be a really good drive out here in the canyons. Let's make this a little quick one because I want to have a bunch of fun at Yas Marina throwing this thing sideways. But look at the amount of power it makes. Already you can tell this thing is an absolute beast. Got to be a little careful with it. Obviously you gain speed so quick. You can hear that turbo spooling all the way. Again, that electric motor providing us with just a ridiculous amount of torque everywhere. One thing that Chris Harris was definitely talking about in his video, if you guys click a link in the description, was just how much braking power this car has as well. You can see, trying to show you that a little bit. This thing would just be such a special thing to be taking out on public roads. Just the look of it alone. But add in the performance. And this is definitely, as Chris Harris would put it, a, a whole new thing. It's fun to harp back to his video because it's just one of those special car videos that if you watch that whole thing and you don't get excited about cars, then you should probably go find a different hobby. So fun to try to drive quickly, but somewhat responsibly in the canyons like you would in real life. Again, that 900 horsepower, tons of downforce. Add that with the braking capabilities this thing has. And I just can't imagine what this would feel like. I bet it makes you feel like you're a hell of a driver, no matter who you are. Man, we are flying through the canyons. <laughs> Almost at the end of our little run here. This is such a fun little jog to go on. Whew. 
Whew. I love taking that run in a variety of cars. It is just such a fun thing to take this car and pretend you're on real roads, staying in that narrow lane and just using the power, using the downforce in the middle speed corners and just having an absolute blast with it. So let's hop over to Yas Marina and really throw this thing sideways and have a ton of fun. And really an homage to Chris Harris's video on the McLaren P1. This car really shines on track. It's almost split personality, honestly. This thing, you can drive it nice and tidy, enjoy the impressive braking, the massive amounts of power with no lag and torque. But you can also drive it like a complete idiot and throw it sideways everywhere and really enjoy it. Again, if you haven't watched that video, in the description make sure you do and if you only want to watch a little bit of it make sure you watch the portion that's on track the last half of the video again Yas Marina at night just like in that video what a great combination this car is extravagant and the track is almost more so all the money in Abu Dhabi let's let's have a nice clean lap here not get too carried away really analyze the braking the power that you have and just how neutral this thing feels it really is the perfect blend between a race car and a road car the way this car can get stopped or slowed down is just incredible feels honestly just like a race car but then has the capability and the compliance to be a road car at the same time. Definitely a special package. It's kind of fun to look around. Hard braking once again, really pushing the limit there. Trying to keep it nice and tidy. You can see some skid marks there for some fun runs. We'll be doing a couple laps. Just honestly throwing it sideways and having some fun with this. Those are the laps that I have the most fun with in this car. But it's just so crazy how you can really drive it in two totally different ways. In a split second you can change your mind and realize, you know what, screw it. Let's throw it out sideways and it's just so neutral feeling that you can do that. You can hear that turbo spooling up. Alright, that was our tidy lap. Let's mess around, throw it into some corners and have a little bit more fun here. Get into third gear, you can see kind of stabilize your slide at the end of it a couple fast corners here before we get into the stuff where we can really pitch it sideways but look at how capable this thing is really trying to hold that slide all the way around this corner It's honestly so much fun to throw this thing sideways. Again, that neutral feeling, the amount of power you have. There's just no spot where you don't have power. You don't have to get it into that power band. You're just there already. So much fun throwing it sideways and then getting into one of those fast corners using the downforce.
so much fun. <laughs> oh man, I could do this forever. A little sloppy there on the exit, but it was going to be fun to try to connect those. Let's go through there. Hit that pylon. Who cares? It's just $1.2 million. <laughs> Let's do another lap. I just can't get enough of this. Just the perfect combo, this track and this car. A little wide. Smoke in the tires. <laughs> Just trying to look backwards. Maybe not the best idea. Such a cool circuit at night. There's the hotel, that crazy lit up building. Be so cool to stay at that hotel and go to the Formula One race, but that's gotta be some big money. Man, this thing is so much fun to drive. The only reason I haven't stopped already is because I'm just having too much fun. There's the hotel again. A little overdone there, but I'm not too worried about it. lap in the McLaren P1 I just can't get enough of this car So good through the fast stuff and then you decide to go into the tighter things and just throw it sideways I can't think of any cars that can honestly do this Woo -hoo -hoo. nice inside line <laughs> even when you make a little mistake you're able to adjust and use the power use the braking and use that neutral feeling to really get you out of trouble. Right into a fast corner, full throttle, 200 kilometers an hour and climbing fast. 270, 280, hard on the brakes. Oh, and maybe that's it. Maybe that's where we stop. It's easy to get carried away. But just look how neutral this thing feels. 
it's definitely a special car and a car that really is replicated pretty well in these sims and in Assetto Corsa. Again, make sure to click the link in the description to enjoy a little bit of uh, real life sliding in this car at this exact track by Chris Harris. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Until next time, I will talk to you later. Peace out.